so what's going on guys? It's Mag1381 here. Um, and today I'm going to be doing a review of both my hedge trimmers. Um, I had the video made some bird shit on my hedge trimmer. Are you joking me? That's ridiculous. But, um, I've got a bunch of freaking haunted house crap tonight, so I'm not working. That's why I wanted to get all my shit done today. It's kind of nice just to freaking sleep in for a day, you know, instead of, you know, but, yeah, I just woke up. But it, it's, you know, it's sometimes, it's nice, you know, sometimes it is, you know, being out of school and shit. But, um, today I'm going to be doing a, a review of my hedge trimmers. Um, oh yeah, update on the ATV. Guy called me last night and said that he promised one of his buddies, like, that he knows, that he could have it for, like, 800 bucks, which the four-wheelers cost, like, 1300 bucks, like, in the blue book, the Kelly blue books. Um, but they, they, um, it's, it's a funny, he called me and he said, well, I guess we're, we're not going to be able to do the deal because I told my buddy he could have it like a month ago and he never came and got it. So I thought that deal was off. And so he told me that I could have it, um, but he'd bring it to me. Um, so I might not be getting that four-wheeler now, but the guy said he's going to give me 1200 bucks for the thing and we're going to buy something. Maybe we'll just buy like a 36 walk behind or maybe we'll still buy an ATV, but then just keep through the winter and then buy a 36 a eh? what do you think because i really want an atv because i haven't had one in a while but this is my hl 100 i'm done talking about that bs now i did go to the fair last night which y'all will see that video either before this one or after i got it on this card but um this is my hl 100 which i can't do a cold start due to safety um and I, I have to tilt it it won't even let me start it on here but you know what all the steel sound like um but it is the HL100 extended shaft with a 135 degree tilt head on it. Um, but let me show you. The bar is roughly almost two feet long or so. I don't know the exact. 27 inches maybe. Um, but what you do here is you just take this, you pull this back. Which is put, there's probably, yeah there's some, there's some weight on it. But um, you just pull this back and then you just select which one you want. And the pin will drop into one of these. Um, which is really cool, really nice, and my competitors um, are up on ladders and stuff, and I'm always watching them, but I offered the guy the other day, he was doing some hedge trimming, and he couldn't get to it, and we went over there, and I went and trimmed it for him uh, for nothing, uh, but he appreciated that. Um, but, I mean, as far as comfort, this is supposed to be an extra handle, but I would suggest not using that due to, look how flexible it is. Um, and you got your rubber grip here, which is nice. It's really nice because it's heavy. And I'm, I might extend this thing out a little bit more. But um, this thing, you, when you're doing like close-up work, you can just hold it there. Um, but the, the grip on the the grip here is like the same on the, the FC90 here. Um, and then the FS90R, which is still really comfortable. You got your on and off switch right here. And then your safety triggers. Um... This has only probably had about 30 hours on it so far. Maybe not even that. Maybe like 20 hours. Uh, but this, on the other hand, you can see how dirty it is. Uh, this gets pretty dirty. This this gets a lot dirtier because this gets used like 10 times more, as you can tell. It's brand new and look, it gets so much wear compared to these. Um, but, you know, I'm not really... I'll probably buy another one of these at the end of next summer and sell these off. But, um, I mean, at the beginning of next year... Um, just so because I like to update the equipment and probably get a new F FC90. Uh, they 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 will last forever. Uh, I might keep. I just want backups. You know what I'm saying? You never know if something goes down or if Robbie bends the spindle, drops this thing or breaks it. You never know. Parts on these things are, are expensive. Um, but that's the that's the um, HL HL100 review. Um, it's it's a great machine. We use it for all different type of applications. You um, get a little hand, hand hold so you don't have to grab the blades, which is kind of nice because those, those puppies are sharp. Um, here's the HS56C. It is a commercial slash residential. They do suggest it. Um, I know major companies have them, like Brickman and all those guys. They, they use HS56Cs 50, um, because they are so light. 
I forget the, the weight on these, but uh, compared to an Echo Savage, if you want to save your back, um, I would pick up one of these babies. I would try it out, even though they are pricey. They are the top of the line, in my opinion. Um, a lot, right along there with Red Max and whatever else y'all want. Uh, but Echoes are just way too heavy. Uh, I, I mean, they're, they're nice equipment. They're just too heavy, and I, I won't ever use one again. Um, but this this machine um, sits on a rubber thing. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it does. You see how the how the thing moves there, um, which creates really good operating conditions. Uh, you got your air filter on this side, which is fully protected from brush or anything else. Um, underneath the machine, this is basically what it looks like. Your exhaust port comes out there, which is really interesting. Um, and I can give you all a cold start of it. Damn, fly. Um, and you got major protection, which this piece here, which I'm kind of upset about, is plastic, but it's okay. Um, and you see the, the rubber mounts, which the 600s and everything's mounted on rubber rubberized just for extra comfort you know what I'm saying um, the see the whole engine is just riding on that see so you barely even feel the engine running that's that's what makes it so nice um, and there's your exhaust port it is down it shoots all over your jeans but um, you know the way that goes um, so you do stink like gas at the end of the work day um, one new thing that I am getting used to is the caps um the gas caps are up front instead of off to the side or in the back which basically what that does is it helps level the machine out when you have it in your hand um when there is fuel it's not a whole lot of weight it's maybe not even a pound but it does help keep some of that weight towards the front um because the engine is heavy um which was a perfect idea um then you do have your 27 inch bar right here uh 28 inch i forget um but with your safeties and stuff so you can only cut stuff so big you know what you know what that is but um i don't like cutting anything that that won't fit through these if it won't fit through these then we probably will not cut it um but one thing that i absolutely love on this machine is this block um so you're not digging into the dirt and stuff like that this safety will protect the end of your blades from getting all jammed up with rocks debris anything like that um and i'll give y'all a cold start of this machine but um it's brand new basically we probably put about three hours on it so far or five hours um not a whole lot that has seen a lot but um the the, the 600 is new um but the, these machines are definitely very quality made um they, they are skimping a little bit on what they used to use because a lot of their metal ha housings um, are used to be metal, um, which made them extremely heavy, like steel, but uh, steel housings, which um, they switched to plastic to make everything lighter, um, which is okay, you know, um, but you can, there's only so much you can do with that, you know. Uh, it's a quality piece, and I will keep buying steel for probably the rest of my life, as long as they're in business, which I don't see them going out of business anytime soon um but yeah we're we're not doing any work today i might blow my driveway off and edge concrete but uh let me give you all a cold start of this thing let me see i gotta turn my Give it a couple of primes and this thing will crank right up. So you can see it's really quiet. Um, and it, it'll stay in one spot. It won't bounce around or anything. But really quiet is what I like. And it's light. That's uh, unbelievable so to turn it off you just pull up on that little switch which is spring loaded so appreciate you guys watching my videos um you know this is what i'm on here for is to show people my lawn equipment and stuff like that um so yeah guys uh 
I just, I just, I know this might ruin the video, but um, uh, I keep getting more prank calls, which is okay. I like prank calls. Um, they're they're fun uh, to make fun of the people that are prank calling me. Um, Mega did apologize, so that is good. So we got an agreement going on, um, but you know we still don't have to be friends, and he is off YouTube, which. You know, is is his is is it's his decision to do that. Um, you know, when he wasn't being a jerk or something, I love watching his his landscaping videos and crap like that. But you know, you know the way that goes. But um, anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure you thank a steel dealer or Steel Incorporated USA. Those guys are awesome. They make some of the best equipment in in the world two cycle four cycle um landscaping equipment in general um everything is just freaking adjustable on these things you can just make it customize it the way you want it as, as you can see there i stuck stuck that on the fs90r oh if anybody wants this this is a um gamecube i will ship it to you for free so yeah so we'll see you guys later uh bye